Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. So yeah, by this time you've probably realized that most of my vlogs are probably going to be we me just wearing the ninja scarf. That's, I guess that is what it is. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it's just really comfortable. Plus, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a workout later on. So yeah, today I wanted to talk about a certain topic that came to mind, which is being a hairy girl. So yes, as you can probably tell, by like how thick let's zoom in on my eyebrows for a second I have very thick prominent eyebrows I'm a hairy girl because I have like th that's in my genes it's in my DNA to grow a lot of hair so and I know that some of you guys can relate so I just wanted to talk about it because I feel like it might be something that is bothering you guys and yeah, whenever I was in middle school, um, I noticed that people would tease me about how hairy I was, hair on my arms, hair on my fingers, just hair <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so uh, I remember the first time someone teased me about that. And at first when someone points something out to you, which like I knew I had hair, but um, well, the first time someone really points it out to you that you're different from everyone else, I grew up in a mostly like Caucasian environment, like 90 to 95 percent like white people over here. Most of them don't really have a lot of like, I mean some of them do have darker hair, but um, they're not, they definitely were not like anywhere close to how hairy I am. So <laughs> um, just growing up around that and having people who didn't really know what it's like to have visible hair, you know, a lot of them had like little golden hairs, like peach fuzz. On their skin so for for them to point it out it really made me like feel kind of repulsive and you know just stuff like that yeah they would point it out and then I would realize like you know what it is what it is I didn't plant all of these hairs into my skin so you guys need to calm down it's not something that I can really control plus I'm like 12 years old so back off so yeah at first I was like kind of like oh you know what I am kind of hairy but then after that I was like whatever dude I'm just gonna enjoy my childhood while it lasts so yeah if someone gives you that type of attitude just brush them off sometimes if you um, show that it really affects you then people will just keep on continue to like tease you about it but um, if you just let them know that you don't really care then they'll find someone else to bother I guess or find something else to do so yeah just a quick insight to how my middle school years were I remember hearing about this girl who every time she showed up to school people would make fun of how hairy she was and she would just cry about it and she would go home and she wouldn't want to go to school and I think that you know like when you're in middle school like it's hard to like get over that type of stuff but at the same time like you have to realize that the world does not revolve around how hairy you are <laughs> and if people are just making fun of things about you just don't don't even show that it's bothering you because the moment you show that it's bothering you that's when people like kids that's when kids will start to gang up on you and you know how kids are but don't even show that it's bothering you basically is what I'm saying so yeah just if you're going through something like if you have like acne prone skin or just or if you have like certain physical features that make you stand out from everyone else and people are teasing you about it like don't give in to like what they're trying to make you feel and especially if you're really really young like that's that's the hard thing I think is when you're like in your middle school like high school years and people will just like find the first thing that they see about you and try to make you feel bad about it yeah just don't even give them the time of time of day because in the end like you're not even gonna see them after a few years and like I know like I finished college I haven't even seen any of my high school peeps or any of my middle school peeps in years so it doesn't really matter so yeah I just want to have a quick discussion on that because I feel like it's something that's relatable um I feel like a, uh, there's a good number of us who are dealing with things like that so yeah yeah this morning I was trying to go to the gym but then I realized it's Sunday and my gym doesn't really open till 11 in the morning but I'm not gonna be awake so yeah I'm gonna be doing some shadow boxing today and I'm gonna take you guys along with me and yeah I'll be showing you what I eat afterwards right now I don't have anything in my tummy so I'm just gonna drink some water I don't really like to eat too much before I work out, so let's get started.
so just finished a little bit of shadow boxing I'm gonna get some water so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the shadow boxing I was doing today it makes you tired really fast uh, yeah it's definitely like a really good cardio because you get tired really fast because you're not hitting anything so there's nothing absorbing all the energy that you're putting out there it's a great way to get rid of aggressive energy so I highly recommend it even if like you haven't done it before Whew, yeah yeah make sure to close this keep your hands up um breathe out and then see this area here that I'm pointing to with my lips um that's like the area that you really want to focus on when you're striking because if you focus on striking in this area like your knuckles are gonna break see so yeah, I'm just gonna drink some water I did make my breakfast beforehand because I knew that my family was going to be coming home soon they went on a little shopping trip for some groceries so yeah let me show you what I have prepared for my post workout sesh okay so here it is as you can see I have and yes I am sitting on my bed it's just because everyone's home and I don't really want to make them feel uncomfortable when I'm vlogging but yeah um, we have some bananas on peanut butter toast some grapes and then some cashews yep that is what we are eating today I'm gonna give you like a quick glimpse of my video editing station because I think for those of you who are like interested in like doing YouTube it might be something that um, is interesting to you guys or if you just want to see a little sneak peek into my life it'll be interesting as well so I'm gonna show you that right now with me my desk is quite messy I guess that means that I use it quite a bit right okay so I put my post-workout <clears throat> breakfast over here <clears throat> Whew, okay put my post-workout breakfast over here uh, this is like my timer sometimes if I'm like really needed to finish things up I'll time myself so that way it gives me more pressure to get it done I have extra camera battery hijab pin and extra memory card this is a mouse that I use um, if I can get it out without making everything fall this is the mouse that I use I will link it down below but I like it because it um, it's almost like a gaming like control I guess um, but it, you, you hold it kind of like sideways as compared to like a regular mouse and it's supposed to like prevent carpal tunnel um, what else my headphones that I'm using this is my laptop I will link my laptop down below um, let's see, I use like a keyboard cover that I purchased, I will also link that down below. What else? These are my hard drives. This is the one that I was previously using, this is the new one that I got. This one had like, um, maybe like 150 gigs or something. And as a YouTuber, you're always, you're always needing more space to store all your files. So, this is the one that I'm using now, this is like a terabyte, which is like a thousand gigs, I believe. And I will link this down below as well. Um, these are just like little sticky notes and like to-do list sheets that I have. See this thing? This one says things to do and then it has like little check boxes and lines so that you can write what you need to do. This one is like shows you the days of the week and um, it's kind of like a, a way for me to like um, separate my day so that way I can work in like a flow state and just get as many things done that are similar in one day so that way um yeah basically I just like to have a general focus in my day so I'll usually like write one thing that I'm doing or focusing on that day and that week so yeah that was a quick little insight onto my desk slash editing spiel I guess <laughs> okay I'm gonna quickly end the vlog over here today's question is going to be what is your favorite sport and what do you like about it so yeah i look forward to seeing what you guys have to say and i will see you guys next time bye